everybody. Welcome to the final day of our house follow here at Mountain View. Let's go on inside, but first um, I just wanted to show you on the outside here some of the color selections in case you're interested. They, they chose Pacific Fieldstone with an off-white mortar, which I think looks really nice. This double four and a half siding is Stratus as a color. And then the white, the soffit, the fascia, these corners, it's all snow mist as the color. So you can kind of see the final product here on the on the finished surfaces of the home, which we think look great. They did a really good job of making everything match. So let's go inside. This is probably going to be a little bit longer of a video than normal, so please be patient. I just wanted to show you some of the finished surfaces inside here. We'll go into the kitchen. Why don't we start off? This oak, these uh, cabinets are oak cabinets, and this is a color it's not been picked very often I really like it I never saw it before and it's called espresso so I thought I'd point that out to you um, it's kind of nice to be able to see a different color than the, the average color that people typically use and I noticed here our superintendent shows that he got a darker outlet to blend in and make it look a little bit nicer so some of the little touches that some of the guys do to make everybody happy um, and typically what we do we always pick a drawer in the house if there would be an island here it would be in the island or right here in this side drawer here which we go by the fridge they have all this paperwork in here we have all the appliance manuals garage any garage door opener parts if you have that like the openers for the garage door um, and one of the other thing is we have a homeowner's maintenance manual that every homeowner gets and a couple things I want to point out to you inside here um, one under customer service we have a list of all the trades that you would need to contact in case of an issue hopefully you don't have any um, we have that all separated and also in the back of this customer service area are actually the color selection sheet. So if you ever want to maybe do some remodeling or change something in the house but you want to make sure everything matches, you can go to your color selection sheets and it has all the information right inside. Also another key point back in the landscaping section, not only does it talk about you know, how to care for your lawn but it also has a plot plan there which for future use if you want to put a fence in or something like that that you have easy access to. So this book has a lot of information I suggest after you get all unpacked and moved in you read through it carefully and absorb as much as you can. So back here this is the garage area. A couple steps down. It's nice in there. They have a pre-wire for the garage doors. Can you see in there in the dark? Well, yeah. It's probably kind of hard to see. So. A nice size garage. It has a little bump out in the back there, a little extension for if you want to store your lawnmower or your gardening tools, which is kind of nice. And you have a little powder room off the kitchen. Here it's a good way to show the doors. This is an upgraded door. It's called the Camden door. And we have these H bronze knobs that they chose which look really good, especially right here by the kitchen. So this, uh, these knobs were color upgraded and these doors uh, are a little different than our standard six panel door. You can kind of see in there, Bob, they have a pedestal sink. Turn this light on for you. Looks nice. So that's just basically our standard powder room setup. dining room. Through the foyer here, there's a set of stairs that go down to the basement. And we've seen, I'm sure you've seen the basement in previous videos, and you can see all that again. And then they have a coat closet located here, right off the dining room. Why don't we head upstairs? Another upgrade they have here is forged balusters in lieu of a painted baluster or even a stained baluster would be another option. So again they chose this nice color combination especially down here it looks great with the kitchen cabinets. There's the master bedroom right at the top of the steps and we have a nice walk-in <laughs> closet. Mike, what's in there? In a walk-in closet. Check and stuff. He lives in there. 
And the master bathroom. Let me get out of the way. I can take yeah. up a lot of that space in there. Just a little bit. Looks nice. And everything in here are standard features. So you can see that you can get some nice selections with the standard choices. They have the second floor laundry room. We talked about that in the past. It's a great addition to have. You don't have to carry your laundry up and down the steps. A little bath bedroom off the side. Down the hall here we have two more bedrooms and the hall bath. And again the hall bath is all standard selections. And that looks great. This room is actually over the garage, like a bonus room area. Come on in here, Bob, and I can show them. And then you have a little access. That's an access panel to the attic area. And what you can do is you can just unscrew, take these four screws out and pop this out in case you would want to access for any reason. Want to run wires, something like that. So everything came together very well, and we're really happy with it, as I'm sure the customers are too. They're at settlement right now. We should be here shortly, so we want to make sure you get out of the way. We appreciate that you followed along with us here on this home. We hope you found it very interesting. Our next step is we're going to go through the office and follow a contract from the day of signing till when we start construction. So make sure you tune in. Thanks for watching John D. TV at Burke's Homes, and have a great day.